away from the 1600 meter marker. Latamba's right there in the early stages. Elzmai Daddy's looking for the lead and goes on towards the inside. Karoo Lark is well positioned. That's near the rail. On the outside is Time Taker. Nobody's too keen to go at this stage. They're followed by Diamonds and Pills. Holds fifth position at the rail. Dancing Feathers on the outside. Then comes African Sunrise. King's Crusade, the red head gear and blue silks is around them on the outside. Then we drop further back to Cane Lime and Soda. Fight Songs racing about six or seven lengths off the leader. Full Blast, Eden Gardens, Glitz, then comes Victorious Man. And behind that is Wildlife Safari, about 12, 13 lengths top to tail. Els, my daddy, has the call by three parts of a length. In second is King's Crusade. Karoo Lark is at the rail third and Time Takers fourth. Red Sleeves and Cap. Diamonds and Pills is at the rail with the white cap and then Lataba behind that fight song. Dancing Feathers on the outside, then came Lime and Soda. Eden Gardens Glitz and African Sunrise on the outside. 400 meters to go, Els My Daddy, the leader, King's Crusade. Karoo Lark's on the inside, Latabas towards the outside. Behind that is Full Blast, Fight Song. Coming to the 300, Dancing Feathers also running on. It's wide open now, Karoo Lark on the inside. Time Takers, a big runner on the outside. Els My Daddy, Fight Song, Dancing Feather. But Karoo Lark over the last 100. Full Blast running on, but Karoo Lark will win it. Second will go to Full Blast, Dancing Feather. And Fight Song ran for. Winner number three, and that's Karoo Lark. This the ideal world. Dennis Dreyer, Sean Veal for Volga Bush Drift and Moritz Fontaine and Mr. and Mrs. Rattray. They win by three lengths, Karoo Lark. And this ideal world comes home lonely. Full blast run second, number 10. Third, number two, Dancing Feather. Then number seven, Fight Song. They were followed by Time Taker, African Sunrise. Then Els My Daddy, Victorious Man, Cane Lime and Soda. And finishing well down the field there, uh, Eden Gardens Glitz, Wildlife Safari, and Diamonds and Pills also fades right out. So as we look at the head-on Dancing Feather, Karoo Lark with the cheek pieces, though, comes good and goes on to score. And the tote favorite was number one, Diamonds and Pills. Number three, Karoo Lark paid 590 and 220. Back to the studio. The fifth race has been run and won by Karoo Lark, who's trained by Dennis Dreyer, owned by the Rattrays, and was confidently ridden by Sean Veal. But before we go any further, Sam is the gentleman who looks after Karoo Lark. He works uh, early mornings, late afternoons. Well done to you, Sam. Thousand Rand on behalf of Hollywood Bets and Gold Circle. Enjoy the money. Congratulations, Sam. Well done. Thank you, Sam. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you very much. Let's get Dennis in. Behind the mic there, Uncle Den. Thank you. And... Uh, your first runner on the day is a winner here today at Hollywood Bet Scottsville, and Karoo Lark, he's deserved this win. Yeah, I think you've said it all. Uh, really deserved it. He's been so consistent, and he's had his little hiccups, but today he went down like a winner. You know, it's always easier after the race, but uh, I said to Paul, Paul Gadsby said to me, Uncle, you're a runner? I said, yeah, I think he's a runner. And a great ride by Sean. You know, we've been a little bit out of form. And I said to him, boy, just be confident. Break well, place him, and sit. And then a big, big thank you to Mike and Norma for uh, allowing me the privilege of training a couple of horses for them and uh, couldn't be happier. Dennis, it's uh, wonderful to have Mr. and Mrs. Rattray, you know, still actively involved, owning horses and, and really loving their racing. And, uh, yeah, I can see, uh, you know, that she's thrilled to have to rewarded them with a win. And this horse, he, he, as you say, so consistent. He's going to give them some more fun, isn't he? Yeah, I think so. You know, he's taken a bit of time to get to where he is now. Yes. And being an ideal world, um, you know, you, you don't rush them. You can't rush them. And back to Mike and Norma, they're legends. They're legends in the game. And I think they deserve every win that comes their way. Your day started a bit uh, late, racing-wise, but uh, you've got some competitive runners still to come. What are you expecting, Uncle Dan? Well, I think he was the best, uh, hoping that the others run well. We just want 
the yard to get back into form. Well, well done. done. Thanks for your feedback. Thank That's you. Dennis Dreyer. Sean Veal's coming uh, to join us. Always, and I must compliment you, Sean. You know, you go out of your way, as do most of the jockeys do for the owners. Same coloured uh, gloves, same colour masks to match your colours. You look outstanding, and I'm sure the owners appreciate it. Well done. Oh, thanks for a good compliment there, Warren. Just well done again to the team with this horse. It's been a long road. It's been very consistent for us, and I'm very glad that he can produce the goods today. won very well. So well done to Stewie and Kerry and to the boss and his wife. Thank you very much for the opportunity. By our standards, it's been a bit quiet, but to be fair to us, we haven't had our big horses back from Cape Town, and they've just arrived. And uh, I think uh, looking forward to what we got going forward, we we got a young string, but uh, I know we're always out there trying. The boss wanted me to be a bit aggressive today on this horse, which, uh, you know, you just got to take it. And uh, he did everything for me. I broke well. I placed him well, and uh, from there it was race over. Going top of a straight, he moved through in my hands. Every time I've ridden him, he sort of hits a flat spot with me. But I'm always giving him a little bit too much to do, of a little bit too little. But today, I actually timed it to perfection. He's still trying to roll around in front, but uh, good win. Well done to the Red Trace for giving my boss the opportunity. To LG Panel Beaters, thank you very much. To my wife and my two boys. My small one's a bit sick, but uh, my wife's doing a fantastic job looking after him. So uh, I'm just blessed to be part of a team like this, and i got a big supporting family in Cape Town and here. My wife's family, they're big supporters of mine too, so it's been a bit quiet by my standards. But I am nursing an injury, which nobody knows about, but it's fine. Nobody needs to know what happens up in my life, so I'm just grateful that this was one. Sean, in your opinion, your next best? One, one more horse to follow from you, or what do you expect? Oh, you know, I'm out there trying. Even Phil in the last race, she's not green. I make her a big runner. She's put up some very good work. And, uh, you know, only the race will tell, but if she's the Philly, I think she is, she'll make them run today. And obviously that was Goliath, everyone. It's a competitive field, but it's dropped a lot in the ratings, so I'm just hoping for the best. Sean, to you, LG panel beaters, your whole family, all the best. Thank you very much. Here we go, that's Sean Veal. And, uh, yeah, a passionate rider, a good rider. And uh, he certainly goes out of his way to make sure he's color-coded. Uh, Karoo Lark, Ideal World, out of a Spectrum Mare. Wilke Borsdrift and Maritz Fontaine. Jessica Jell and uh, Mary Slack, well done to you and your operations. Mr. and Mrs. Rattray, no doubt you'll be thrilled with this performance of uh, Karoo Lark. He's been rewarded for his consistency. Bang, in the winner's enclosure. 310. Two and seven, those are the numbers that you're going to need for race five. Races six, seven, and eight still to come. Hope you're following my colleague, Graham Hawkins. He's finding all these horses, and they're running very, very well.